Welcome back to another video guys, I'm Paul the Tech Giant and tonight I'm going to be conducting another screen uniformity and burning test on my 65 inch LG G1 OLED. Now it's been quite a while since my last burning test video, approximately seven months ago. Reason why I've not done any, well there just wasn't the call for it. But now time has moved on quite a bit and uh, I've only TV for approximately eight months in total. And uh, screen on time, well we've used this TV for approximately 3,000 hours. Now the last time that we checked this TV it was all good when it came to the screen uniformity. And if you are new to the channel the way that we are going to conduct this video is by first running a 5% grayscale test to see if there is any patchiness or any vertical banding. Once we've done that, we will move on to the color sweep test to see if we can see any dead pixels or any signs of burning. Getting underway with the testing then and starting off with the 5% grayscale. Now, if you do notice a blue dot on the screen, don't worry, that is just from my microphone reflecting into the screen. So don't worry about that. Now, uh, the one downside with leaving it so long with these tests, as there wasn't the call for it, if we do notice anything that uh, isn't great with the TV, we're not going to know what month it falls under when that problem arose. So I will look to uh, do these tests more regularly. Now, uh, we do have a few bands going on here, so we've got a bit of a patch as well. I don't know if you guys can see that just up there. Just generally, it is a little bit patchy. Again, down there, we got, you know, sort of more of a darker band there and there, and then some faint ones as well. I think it might have got slightly worse than last time, but I wouldn't say it's anything too dramatic. Moving on to the color sweep now then, and as you will see, this will just go through a series of colors. And then what I will do is stop it on some colors and we will go in for a closer look. And uh, please get involved. Let me know if you do notice anything that is wrong with the display. And uh, you know, I will check back myself because I have missed things in the past. Let's start off then with a nice bright white. And uh, just taking a look at the screen from this sort of distance. And uh, that is looking all good to me. So let's just go in a little bit closer and see if we can see any dead or stuck pixels. Now please get involved and uh, like I say, point out anything. If you notice any stuck or dead pixels yourself, it's happened in the past. And uh, I am not afraid whatsoever of pointing out any defects with these TVs. You know, I've had TVs repaired, I've had TVs sent back. So uh, yeah, I'm not gonna hide anything. And this is why I like to document this on camera. So you can see I am being totally honest and open about what I am seeing. And uh, so far, that looks all good around the edges there. Going in on the middle there and then pulling back out. And that white looks good to me. Next up, and you've guessed it, it is blue. Once again, looking from this sort of angle, looks perfectly fine to me. A nice big slab of blue. So uh, nothing obvious when it comes to burning just there, but let's go in a little bit closer and see again, any pixels that are playing up because again, they can show up differently on different colors. So moving along the top and uh, yeah, that is looking all good. And if we were to uh, notice any burning, what we might may see would be like an outline of maybe like a channel logo or something like that, it would be obvious where the pixels have degraded. And uh, that is not what you want. And it is something that can happen to OLED TVs, but technology has moved on. And uh, fingers crossed, we won't notice anything at all. And uh, so far, 
It's looking good, looking at the middle there. Looking perfectly fine to me. I'm pulling back. And I'd say that is a pass for the blue. A lovely green is up next. And once again, let's have a look around. And it's looking nice and clean. Got to be fair, can't see anything from this sort of distance. Let's just go in a little bit closer then. And uh, look for any issues with the pixels. Oh, the camera's hunting there just a little bit. Sorry about that. Now, I'm sure you guys are going to want to know about my TV usage. Well, it has been a proper mixed bag. Got a large family. So we've got kids who watch, you know, your sort of younger programs that have static logos up in the corner. I watch a lot of movies that have black bars, always hunting again. So black bars top and bottom. I've even been watching some older stuff. So black bars on the left and the right. Then um, Mrs. Watch watches sort of all, all her soaps and whatnot. And then of course we've got the gaming with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5. And again, a whole variety of games, many of which have head-up displays and such like, which are stuck on the screen for what well, can be hours and hours on end. So yeah, it's a proper mixed bag of usage. And you know, everything really does get tested with this TV. And once again, that green looks perfectly fine. Now let's finish off with a red, which uh, for some reason is looking a little bit pinky on my camera, but in person, trust me, it is lovely and juicy looking, if you want to look at it like that. Nice, brilliant red. But um, again, just moving around. Looks perfectly fine to me. So let's go in closer for the very last time. And um, yeah, going back to what I was saying about the usage. So a proper mixed bag of stuff. So, uh, you know, no stone has been left unturned when it comes to the testing of this TV. And uh, I know a lot of people will be concerned, especially when it comes to the gaming side of things. And yes, Definitely my kids abuse this TV. If you want to look at it like that, you know, we don't sort of nanny it as such. And uh, yeah, they will play on it for hours and hours on end. And, you know, I don't even worry anymore about any sort of heads up displays or anything like that. When I first had my, uh, you know, very first OLED, I, I must admit, I was concerned, but now, I just use it like any other TV and I don't even give it a second thought about leaving you know, a game on for hours and hours with static images or you know, logos, like uh, scores and stuff like that. Doesn't bother us one bit. And uh, that, for the red, gets a big fat thumbs up. Now, part of the reason why the panel is still looking so fresh is probably down to the fact that I allow the TV to run the automatic pixel refresher. Now, for those of you guys who are not in the know, what this is, is after four hours of total screen on time, or should I say accumulated time, so, uh, you know, TV's been turned on and off, whatever, as long as you've accumulated four hours of screen on time, the TV will run an automatic pixel refresher the next time the TV is put into standby. And uh, a lot of people say, well, what do you mean by standby? Well, turning the TV off with the remote control and you'll get a little red light at the bottom of the TV. Now, what you don't wanna do is turn the TV off at the mains as soon as you are finished with it because if you're the sort of person who's, you know, you're gonna to go to bed and you uh, turn the TV off and then unplug it straight away, the TV won't have the chance to run that automatic pixel refresher because it still needs power being fed to the TV to run that process. And basically what it does is, when it does run that process, basically just gives the screen like a, uh, like a wipe over, if you wanna look like that. And uh, basically makes the whole panel all nice and uniformed again. So my top tip is, if you are the sort of person who likes 
likes to unplug their TV, what I would suggest is that you just leave, you know, turn it off using the remote for standby, leave it for approximately, let's say 10 minutes, just to make sure that it's completely run, if it is gonna run, and uh, then you can unplug it. And uh, if you have got a good ear, then you will actually hear a click when it is complete. So, uh, you know, maybe listen out for that as well. Now, if you appreciate this video today, do us a favor, just give me a thumbs up, really does help the channel out. And uh, if you've not already subscribed and you want to see more videos like this, then please make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell icon because then you'll get notified of my latest uploads. So thanks very much for joining me today and hopefully catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.